Hello, good morning. Welcome to my YouTube channel, Jerry Bellarmino. So this morning, guys, I have a cooking tutorial video about baking. So I'm planning to make today a uh, pan de sal uh, doing by mano mano. It means mano mano by using by our hand, not using by the ruler machine. So, but before that, I'm going to the market first because I get some ingredients from there because I, I'm running out of stock of um, ingredients for making uh, pandesal. So, by the way, guys, this uh, cooking tutorial video today is a request of one of my co-workers. Uh, she is also watching my YouTube video. She requested about how to make the pandesal in using by hand or just for making pandesal in a small amount only. So let's go. I'm going to the market. So mga guys, nandito na ako ngayon sa market. Ito na guys, tagaantay pa tayo ng bus. Pabalik kasi lumabas na tayo sa market. Medyo mainit masyado. Ayan ah. Nandito ako ngayon sa bus stop. Ayan ang bus stop. Ayan. So, nandito ako ngayon sa highway. Uh, Nagaantay ng bus na dumaan pabalik sa bahay. Okay. Hello guys, I'm here already. I arrived already from the market. So, I start now our cooking tutorial video about pandesal mano mano. Okay, let's go. Just watch me and learn how to make a pandesal. Okay, so our ingredients are 3 cups of flour, sugar, white sugar, or you can use also brown sugar. It's a uh, one fourth cup just mix only into the flour and salt our salt is uh, two teaspoon just mix in here i have um bread booster or like a bread improver so every one cup of flour is one also tablespoon of bread improver or bread booster. So I have three cups of flour. So I put three teaspoon of like um, bread booster or bread improver. So mix only here. And also, I have um, one port cup of uh, this is um, uh, margarine. Supposed to be, we'll use uh, ordinary oil like uh, canola or olive oil. So it's up to you. You can use what kind of oil. But for me, I decided to use the unsalted margarine. I dissolved already. It's uh, one port cup. So we'll mix in here and put a little bit of condensed milk but condensed milk is not necessary just whatever you like you decide to put the uh, uh, condensed milk so just only like a little amount it's up to you what 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 how many how <laughs> the bullion of condensed milk you want to put okay so one egg
dissolve all the ingredients here before you mix together to the flour. Okay. And I have a yeast. It's, um, a, our yeast is um, like uh, one tablespoon of yeast, but no need to mix here directly to the flour. So we'll use one cup of water. Just dissolve first the yeast before you mix to the flour. So just only look warm. Not too hot, not too cold. Just only low warm, okay? And then put the yeast in here. Dissolve the yeast into the low warm water. Just wait for at least one minute or a couple minutes to become the yeast is said to become a uh, pop up. So I think our yeast is ready. Look at that. So just mix a little the flour. Mix and mix until the dough is become elastic. If the dough is become elastic, <coughs> so it means the dough is ready. So this time I use my hand. Of course, wash first. Guys, if you cannot follow my video, just please uh, watch, watch and if you cannot follow, just watch and return watching and return watching and then after that you can follow what the procedure how to make the uh, uh, pandisa or what kind of what kind of videos I put in YouTube. So you can follow, just only returning, viewing my pages. By the way guys, if why I, why my YouTube channel, the content is usually a cooking tutorial video. Because when I was in Philippines um, six years ago. Um, I had a little big shop and little like a restaurant they call in Philippines is Karinderia. So that's why I love cooking. Alright.
just mix only the dough until become elastic so this one is not elastic see so yeah, it means it's not ready I think it's almost ready guys. See that? Yeah, ready. So this time, we'll use the little amount of then mix together to the dough just run like that all right and then cover by the plastic or cover by the towel until the dough is become raised up or become double and then ready to punch again and then round again okay That's it. Wait until the dough is become double or like uh, one or two hours. Just it's up and depend how the weather, how the <clears throat> situation is cold or warm area. So the dough is very fast. If warm, the dough is very fast to raise up. Not not like in a big big shop, in like in a big big shop like company. They have also uh, like uh, like uh, like the fridge. It's how uh, they call the warmer. They put like uh, shell by shell. They put the dough when you're making the dough. After you're making the dough become elastic and then put in the warmer. And then it's very fast like only um, like only 15 minutes. The dough is become double already. So we'll wait that one. Okay? So mga guys, malapit na yung uh, do natin ng pandesal almost ready so we'll, we'll continue our cooking tutorial video about pand about the uh, pandesal so but before that I have uh, sliced bread I toast this one I make this one for uh, bread crumbs because bread crumbs they needed it no uh, in how to make the pan so you need the bread crumb so I toast already so now we'll make a bread crumb by the way guys in a big bake shop bread crumbs is be made only by homemade bread crumbs uh, using the leftover bread 
you put in the oven, the toasted, and then you grind it, and then to become a bread crumbs. But in in the shop, we have also available bread crumbs, but for me, I use this one. So guys, I have already uh, breadcrumbs. So that's how easy to make a breadcrumbs because these breadcrumbs later on will mix to pandesal. All right. So our dough is almost ready. So we'll uh, make it into portion now. means because the dough did not uh, burn up so it means it's ready already so I'll put a little bit amount of breadcrumbs in here and then we'll put it in okay Wow, it's very soft. And then roll it. Well guys, siguruhin po natin yung do natin na maganda yung pagkarol. Medyo makinis kasi pagsalang natin ulit mamaya sa yung lalagyan natin baka bumuka siya. So tayo nito. Yan, hindi masyado. Ito. Kailangan ero lang siya ng posto.
So, matagal din na uh, hindi ko to ginagawa. Oh. So, almost uh, like almost 6 years. may gamit na yung breadcrumbs natin so that's why breadcrumbs is very important in here So, start cutting! I hope become successful this one because it's um, what's this? It's uh, almost six years. And then when you put the pandesal, don't put into like that. Don't put into like that. Yeah, because this is a cut area, because it's a portion area. Don't cut like, cut like that. Put like that. Yeah, like that. Then compress a little bit. Uh, mga guys, baka magtaka kayo, kinakamay ko. So, walang problema ito kasi raw pa naman siya. 
lulutuin pa natin sa oven. So, walang problema yan kung uh, kinakamay natin. Okay. So we'll wait again to maybe two hours again, and then this one is become ready to put in the oven. So, okay. So mga guys, after four hours ready na yung pandesal natin ay salang. Yan ang pandesal natin, nakasailang yan ng 390 degrees. Ayan. So, yung init niya. So, try natin mga 25 minutes. Okay. So, mga guys, ayan. Ready na yung pandesal natin. So, subukan natin. medyo na overcook ng kaunti pero okay na rin so ito malambot siya mga guys so mga guys baka magtaka kayo eh iba na yung damit ko nagbumihis lang ako si mainit na masyado so okay naman Medyo malambot naman yung pandesal natin. Sira? Yan. It's good. Mm. So, yun lang muna mga guys. Yung tutorial cooking natin ngayon. So, I hope na gustuhan yung video natin. So, salamat. Bye-bye.